good morning uh, today we are going to see how to migrate uh, uh, active directory from windows 2008 r2 to windows 2012 r2 okay so windows 2012 r2 uh, active directory has many new features so uh, but the challenge in active directory is that uh, you know you have to do this migration without disrupting the customers so today we will see the steps involved on how to migrate from uh, windows 2008 r2 active directory to windows 2012 r2 active directory without any downtime okay so the first step uh, that you have to do is uh, uh, log into the windows 2008 r2 domain controller okay click start uh, click on Active Directory Users and Computers. Okay. Uh, click on the domain. Click on Actions. And check the Operation Master. So see which server is having all the Operation Manager roles. So you can see that currently it's all with the Windows 2008 server domain controller. Okay. So we will move all these roles to Windows 2012 R2 after migration. So this will be a three part uh, series. So this will be the first part. So the step one is to extend your Active Directory uh, schema. Okay. So to do that, uh, go to start command prompt. Go to your uh, AD prep uh, folder, which should be in tools, support in support tools in your uh, CD, in your Windows 2012 R2 CD. Okay. CD, AD, prep. Okay, AD, prep. Exe. Slash. Forest. Prep. What this will do is extend your uh, Windows 2008 schema to Windows 2012 R2 schema. So this is the first step that you have to do okay so it will give you a warning that uh, before running ad prep all windows 2000 windows active directory domain controller the forest must run windows server 2003 or later so anything before that that is 2002 is not supported so click c capital c and click enter and you can see that the uh, 2008 schema is version is 27 and 2012 schema version is 69 so this upgrade will happen from 47 to 69 so it will start updating uh, so you can see schema 48 49 56 57 58 59 61 It has to go through 69. 7, 
Okay. So this is the confirmation you have to get. AD prep successfully updated the forest wide information. So now you extended the schema for Windows 2000 for adding the Windows 2012 auto domain controller in your Windows 2008 environment. Okay. So you have completed the step one. The step two is to add a Windows 2012 R2 domain controller as an additional domain controller in the domain. Okay. So to do that, uh, let me log into a current system. Okay. Uh, click on server manager. All servers, okay. Right click, add servers. So in the C in, in the C and name, search for DC, okay, and click final. So it will show you all the servers starting with the DC. If your uh, organization is using a different naming convention for domain controller, then you can use that uh, whatever. But generally, I've seen any organization, you know. For domain controller, uh, they give DC in the name. So select both and click add. Click OK. So now you will be able to manage the servers from this uh, console itself, from this server manager itself. Now, right click the DC uh, 12, that is Windows 2012 R2, okay, and click Add Roles. Click Next. Make sure a role based feature uh, is selected. Click Next. Make sure your uh, Windows 2012 R2 uh, domain control is select server is selected, okay. Click next and in the list of services, make sure you select Active Directory Domain Services. It will uh, raise a pop up. Click Add Features. Click next. Leave it default. Click next. Click next. Select this option, restore the destination server automatically if required. Okay, click install. So, this will add the Active Directory uh, domain service uh, feature to the Windows 2012 domain controller. So, let's wait for the ADDS to be added. So the short form for Active Directory Domain Services ADDS. So it takes few minutes. So it says configuration required, installation succeeded. Okay, so click close. So now the ADDS has been installed, but it's not configured. Okay, so click on ADDS and see what's shown. You can see here a pop up configuration required for Active Directory domain services at Windows 2008 R2 domain. Click on more and configuration has to be done. Okay. The action click promote this server as a domain controller. So now it will ask you the option add the domain controller to existing domain. That's what we want to do. We want to add this Windows 2012 R2 server as a additional domain controller in our current domain. 
Windows 2008 okay make sure uh, your domain is correct click change now give the admin password domain admin password click ok click next so now it will give you option uh, you have to give your directory service restore mode password okay that's given you will leave it as a domain card uh, automatically it will install the DNS and global catalog uh, capabilities to this and will place it in a default site so if you have more sites then you can choose it but uh, I recommend leave it in default site and later on you can always move it to the correct site click next click next click next leave it default if you want uh, you can change it to retail in your organization click next click next and here it will show you the options that is going to be done you can click the view scripts so this is the script partial script that it will run okay it will import the add deployment module install uh, ADDS domain controller with uh, no go global catalog as false, create delegation as false, credentials which we have given uh, and the uh, replication false, the location of the database, the domain name, you want to install DNS, true, where to store the log file, uh, no reboot on complete false, site name, this is false and false. So this is the PowerShell command. That is Just close it and click next so it will do some prerequisite checks to see whether your domain controller is uh, whether your server is can be installed as a domain controller so it will take few seconds okay all prerequisite checks passed okay click install so now it's going to install the domain controller so this is the first part that you have to do first is extend your schema using ad prep then add a windows 2012 member server as an additional domain controller to your windows 2008 r2 domain so it's going to take few minutes service on the computer as you can see in the progress and the server was successfully configured as a domain code you can click close click close now uh, click on uh, server manager type for active directory users and computers ok contrasor.com domain controllers you can see that now our windows 2012 r2 server has been added as a domain controller to the windows 2012 windows 2008 domain so this is the step one 
we will continue in step 2 uh, with the uh, moving of the uh, rules from windows 2008 r22 windows 2002 r2 i hope this has been useful for you and thank you for